Welcome back. The department, uh, the Veterans Health Administration's innovation ecosystem will show off some new creations to support frontline workers during the pandemic response. Nine innovation teams will participate in a maker pitch challenge and compete for investments. Danielle Krakora is entrepreneur in residence, Veterans Health Administration Innovation Ecosystem and Product Manager at the VA Office of Information and Technology. Hunter Futo is product designer and engineering researcher. Her team won last year's challenge with a reusable N95 respirator. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for coming on. Danielle, I start with you. What, do, what are you doing this year, maybe differently than last year as a result of the virus or something else? What's new in this uh, competition? Yeah, absolutely. So I guess to understand what's new, you sort of have to understand where we came from briefly. Uh, last year when the pandemic hit, we committed to hosting five uh, virtual challenge competitions. And what we were really trying to do was create solutions quickly to help frontline essential workers that were fighting on, uh, the, you know, helping people on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. And the response was overwhelming. We had so many amazing, talented folks come together and build 56 solutions actually, 56 amazing physical prototype solutions. And since then, the VA has invested heavily in 11 of them uh, and they're piloted at sites all across our enterprise. So what we're doing this year is we're really finding opportunities to connect those teams with resources, whether they're financial or otherwise, to take their products to the next level help them cross the finish line and get into the hands of the people that need them most because they're still relevant. We're still fighting the pandemic. Hunter, what happened after you and your colleagues won the competition last year? What was the process to get to where you are a year later? Oh my gosh, it's it's been a lot of work. Um, I've um, this is the this is the mask that I designed. So I've been wearing it daily since last spring. Um, I have a pilot program of about twenty user testers uh, and counting that have signed up uh, to provide feedback, and I've been revising the design. Um, they work in EMS, uh, healthcare, uh, frontline workers, and in, in industry. So um, I've been I've been revising. Uh, revising the design and, and getting it as uh, close to perfect as possible. And um, uh, yeah. From a business perspective, what has being involved in this uh, this ecosystem meant to you? Um, it's been huge. I, um, I, both VHA Innovation and Challenge America have done a, a great job in generating interest in the project and helping it move further along. Um, obviously, having their name um, behind me makes it a lot easier to approach, um, you know, universities and institutions um, in helping me uh, continue my research, um, and then vendors as well. So um, I'm. Uh, uh, I'm at the stage now where um, I'm ready to seek funding um, and begin manufacturing. Danielle, from a, a business perspective on your part, do you have a sense or any data that indicates that where you would have been, where you would be in a traditional procurement cycle versus the investments that you've made in, in the uh, innovations that you've seen in this challenge? Yeah, absolutely. I don't have uh concrete data, but certainly anecdotal. And the, the accelerated pathway that we've been able to achieve for these, these teams, these products, is, is nothing short than amazing <laughs> in the federal government. Stuff moves very slow, uh, especially at VA. And we want to we wanna do that intentionally because we don't want to expose our employees or our veterans to things that might harm them. But uh, we've been able to cultivate these amazing partnerships with organizations like America Makes, the FDA, uh, NIH and, and other partners to really fully test and validate these solutions and make sure that they're really truly bringing value. And we were able to do that within our ecosystem and then test them throughout our vast VA network. We have 170 medical centers and roughly 1300 sites of care around the world. So we're really a, a great hotbed to be able to accelerate this innovation quickly. And now we're, we're at the point where we can tap into our rich network of, of investors, VCs, incubators, accelerators, and really partner these, these companies, these teams up with the right people to commercialize their, their ideas because now we've had the opportunity to fully test them. Um, plug your event, Danielle, so that people uh, can learn more about it and, and follow along. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So we're uh, hosting our sixth event, which is kind of like a Shark Take event, uh, this Sunday, February 21st from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I believe that we're going to follow up with the link. It's kind of jarbled for me to read out here, but we'll follow up with that link. You can also find it on Challenge America's website. Challenge America is our amazing friend 
and nonprofit partner. They're a great veteran nonprofit out of Colorado. Check them out and all the amazing work that they do as well. But uh, you'll find all that information there. Yeah, we'll put a link to it at govmatters.tv slash resources right. also, Danielle. What will people see, though, when they come in and, and, and look at this? Yeah. Yeah, so the event is live, and uh, we, like Hunter said, we selected nine teams. Hunter is one of them, and they're going to present for three minutes um, what their, their latest advancements are on their prototype and what they're looking for in terms of investment. And then the audience, it can be people that are just interested and want to see what we've been up to, um, but we're also trying to pepper the audience with folks that can actually invest and are interested in our products and designs. Uh, so we've we've went to great lengths to try to recruit the right people to have them in the room. So we've got some folks from uh, Google and uh, Decode and all kinds of other great uh, organizations out there. So then uh, there'll be time for uh, questions with the teams and then private sessions with each of the teams as well that can be scheduled. And you could ask more questions and hopefully schedule some follow ups. Danielle, thanks very much for coming on. Hunter, congratulations. Appreciate your time. Thank you.